Hey, welcome back. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video. It's been got ridiculously hot around, so I don't RC when it's too hot. But I have done some upgrades on uh, my SCX-24s, a uh, whole bunch of metal on Betty, and some scramblers that are flattened. Uh, we've got some clipped mud slingers on the stretch four wheel steer c10 we've got a four mil extension axles and some clipped mud slingers on the deadbolt this one has stayed the same so i'm not quite sure what upgrade next let's try this The new enduro 24 um i'm really really curious to see what this truck's going to do in stock for him i have a friend he has a stock scx 24 and uh, we're going to get them together today to compare and get a good idea now i know this is a, a quality truck but it doesn't have the aftermarket following that the axial does. Hopefully we can change that with grown popularity. So these things are like $30, $40 cheaper than an SCX 24. So go get one guys, give her a shot. There's the box, the blah, 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 bit of this, bit of that. There's your techno, this and that. And Cool, very cool. Some of your characteristics. <laughs> Four length rear. Chassis mounted servo. You gotta love that, guys. Here's your additional features. Very cool, very, very cool. Nice, all right, well, let's crack this bad boy open and uh, get a look at it. There it is, red and blue, red, white, and blue. baby there we go so that's kind of cool right off the hop hey eh, guys you get the little diorama in the box you can fold up and mess with a little bit hey barn door and everything that's very cool very cool we'll have to check that out a little bit later Now here we are. There's our little battery in there. Baby battery. We're gonna have to get some clippers to try and uh, get that stupid zip tie off, guys. I didn't bring any clippers with me, so I'll have to go find a set. Give me a sec here. There they are. So there's the truck. Transmitter, charger, instructions. There we go. This comes with it. A little USB charger, some extended body posts. In case you want a bigger body. Your instructions. Simple, plain stuff. And your transmitter. Let's get that guy out of here. It looks a little toyish, but whatever. 
really only needs to control the truck. So there's all the goods. The steering trim, throttle trim, throttle dual rate, steering dual rate. Like that's a lot of adjustability really guys for a 124th. I think. Reverse and normal switch. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. But let's get a look at this. I'm going to get a look inside this thing. I'll tell you right now, the body clips, this is going to come off and I'll probably put magnets or Velcro on it or something. That's a good sturdy body too. Not that heavy. So there it is. Got the motor in the front. Chassis mounted steering servo right there. Very cool. Steel main shaft. Coming from the transmission. Wow, that's very cool. We got our battery here. It's just held in with elastic rubber bands, guys. And there's the battery. A one cell single cell pack um, I'm already uh, not a fan of the battery connector I'll have to deal with something to be able to charge that maybe get an adapter whatever I need to do because it's not the same as the uh, SCX 24 is obviously a bit different so let's take a look at this one it's the closest to stock it's got a little bit of weight um, just the, the brass steering knuckles and uh, diff weights shocks and the uh, hot racing steering links this one's bone stock. I do love that bumper. That bumper's super cool. I think. And it's got pretty good weight distribution already. Like, that's a good 60-40 right there, for sure. I don't know if you can tell that. So there it is, guys. There's the difference. I took the receiver box out of this one. And having some issues with one of my other SCX 24s. Uh, if you've seen my uh, earlier videos and you'll know <laughs> what happened but I put one of them in the water a few dozen times over a few hours and uh, now I'm having some electrical issues as you would rightfully expect which is why I tested it. So there it is guys. The Element Enduro Sendero 24 scale next to an SCX24. These wheels are interchangeable. These ones will work here, both 7 mil hex. So I'm about to have some fun with this thing and see what, uh, what SCX24 upgrades will work for it. I do have some extra shocks and other things. So, give me an idea of what will work and what won't work. There it is, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, you got to because uh, things are going to get real fun. We're going to start comparing these two trucks and pushing the limits of this little fella. And see exactly what it's going to do because I know what the SCX 24s will do in different setups. I'm real curious to see what this is going to do. So, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. 
click the bell so you uh, get notifications when there's new videos. Give me a thumbs up for a like. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks.